between Tony Ferguson and Edson Barboza. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it, just a few minutes away. Here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Barboza is 34, Ferguson is 36. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting. Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Edson Junior Barbosa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of. 26 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Tony. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your club. Here we go, round one. How good is this? I'm gonna try not to cuss. Edson Barboza, Tony Ferguson, and I gotta think of Edson. There was a lot of good in that first meeting that you can build upon here for the rematch. Yes, but he has to pace himself. The first fight, he thought he was getting Tony Ferguson out there. But if Tony Ferguson has anything, it's unbelievable durability and toughness, and he's not going anywhere. So if Edson can get the damage off, just stay a little patient so he doesn't completely exhaust himself. 
going into the second round. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Edson Barboza. That punch, no good. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. What a tricky head kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down deep. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check the but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting the beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Edson Jr. Barbosa. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Hook is there again. Oh, nice right hand. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He loaded up that right hand, too. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, nice counter jab there. Beautiful kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best skipped fighters in the UFC. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, and he connects there, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Barbosa's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. This straight connection right off the cut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Wow. Under three minutes now to go Fantastic. in the round. Takedown land. Potentially a critical takedown here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. A triangle, a triangle. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Just to and this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant 
submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Five seconds remain in the round. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Barboza's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. That's a big strike right there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Stuff the takedown, no problem. How about that chin? Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. 70 total strikes and now landed for Edson Jr. Barboza. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Tony Fuchs. Oh! Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left! Oh! Sticky kick. Just misses there with the left. Two minutes to go in the round. Nice leg kick land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. get a finish here oh how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a von flu choke open st Pru would be proud <laughs> the sheer will is is really remarkable to watch all right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook 
to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this Ready? fight. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. There, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, blocks the shot. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Way to hide that leg kick. strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Right punches there. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh! He's hurt. He's gone. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there is the UFC lightweight champion. He is gonna be a hard guy to buck off the throne, getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish on the sport's biggest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number four. Including the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion.